there's a double threat out there that may help explain poor school performance, criminal behavior, alcoholism, and the growing numbers of Alzheimer's patients. The possible culprits? Food additives and junky diets. Dr. Russell Blaylock says it's a double whammy because of high sugar content and starchy carbohydrates that act like sugar in the body. Blaylock, a medical expert on the brain, explains that problem in a new DVD lecture, Nutrition and Behavior. Now, why would sugar have such a profound influence on brain function and psychological function? Well, when the sugar is in excess, it produces excess release of insulin. When insulin is released, you get hypoglycemia if it's excessive. That is, the blood sugar falls. This low blood sugar, or hypoglycemia, affects up to 20% of U.S. adults and can cause varying behavior. Hyperactivity is often the response in younger children. For many children and adults, there can be violent and aggressive behavior. Mental confusion can be the result for older people as the low blood sugar fails to fuel the brain, making it more prone to Alzheimer's. Jack Samuels recalls that kind of confusion during a trip to grab milk at the grocery. I just, I, I remember, you know, getting way out into the countryside and, and pulling to the side of the road and, and trying to sort of calm myself and think, you know, now where did I come from? You see, Samuels had accidentally consumed some of the flavor-enhancing food additive known as monosodium glutamate. MSG can cause hypoglycemia on its own. Samuels tries to avoid all forms of MSG, but struggles because there are so many hidden sources. MSG can hide on food labels under deceptive names like hydrolyzed corn, autolyzed yeast, broth, and even natural flavors. Another danger is alcohol, because it acts just like sugar. And the reason the alcoholic continues to drink alcohol is because the alcohol is a source of tremendous energy. And so when their blood sugar falls, they drink the alcohol, they feel better, and their blood sugar falls again, they drink more alcohol, and it's just an unending cycle. A study found 97% of alcoholics to be hypoglycemic. Another study showed that when their hypoglycemia is treated with nutrition, 70% of them become sober. Under other methods, 25% or less enter recovery. The diet soda sweetener aspartame contains alcohol. That fact and the way it stimulates the release of excessive insulin help explain why it causes hypoglycemia. And so you tend to eat and snack and nibble, and you gain weight. Monosodium glutamate will do the same thing. Now the food manufacturers know this, that's why they put so much MSG in food. And then there's plain sugar and its effects on children. One study gave kids sugar equal to the amount in one soda. Overall, their test scores went down. Just one hour after taking the sugar, they made twice as many mistakes. The sugar-loaded students also showed more inappropriate behavior during free play. So what diet is anti-hypoglycemic? That would be lean meat and lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. Another key, watch those sugars and starches like sugar itself, products with corn syrup, most fruit juices, white bread, white rice, and white potatoes. By avoiding most processed food, you'll also be more likely to steer clear of the MSG that so often lurks among the ingredients. And with so much of this information out there, you might wonder if the government is looking into the connection between nutrition and behavior. There is very little financial reward for a researcher to find the cause of a disease and consequently, most of the research dollars go to the development of drugs to treat a disease because there's a lot of money involved there. Blaylock says think of the kids and start teaching them about nutrition. That could make for a better home life today and future adults better able to excel in the world. Galen Tethro, CBN News.